Hello, Great 12 AIM Learners. How are you? I hope you are fine today. This is your Sir Alfonso Slatorio, your teacher in electrical installation and maintenance. Before we start with our new lesson, prepare your PCLM for week 1, quarter 3. In this session, we are going to discuss the different types of rigid non-metallic conduit bends. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to first explain the different types of PVC conduit bends. Second, explain the process on how to perform PVC conduit elbow bend. But before we are going to venture the different types of rigid non-metallic conduit bend, which is our actual discussion, let me first ask you this question. Have you heard about the term rigid non-metallic conduit or PVC conduit or have you tried bending a PVC conduit? The PVC or polyvinyl chloride rigid conduit is one of the most commonly used conduits in electrical wiring installation today. Its preparation for installation is much easier than the metallic rigid conduit. In preparing a non-metallic rigid conduit for installation, an electrician needs to do cutting, heating, and bending. Rigid non-metallic conduit is a type of electrical conduit, also known as PVC conduit pipe, a raceway or piping system that protects wires and cables from impact, moisture, and vapors. It is a path for either power or communication, low voltage electrical wiring. Okay, we have here pictures of polyvinyl chloride or in short PVC. They are made up of different colors. So, we are going to study now its different types of bend and how they are bended o saon sila pag bawo. Let us proceed now to the different types of PVC bend. First, elbow bend. It is a bend that has a 90 degree angle. We have here pictures of elbow bend. Second, we have offset bend. Offset bend is less than 90 degree angle bend. It is used when the conduit crosses an obstacle or when the conduit is entering an electrical box. We have here figures E and B which show the image of offset bend. Third, we have round saddle bend. It is used when the conduit runs across circular object like pipes. This is how a round saddle bend looks like. Fourth, we have square saddle bend. It is similar to round saddle. It is used when the conduit runs across rectangular obstacle. A square saddle is just a combination of two offset bends. And this is how a square saddle bend looks like. Now, after learning the different types of rigid non-metallic conduit or PVC conduit bends, are you not excited to learn how we will do the bending? But since there are four types of bending, we could not tackle them all today. So, we will just choose how to do elbow bending. Here are now the procedures in performing elbow bending. First, prepare the necessary tools, materials, and equipment. We have also the tools and materials needed. First, PVC conduit pipe. Second, heat gun. Third, tri square. Fourth, wheat rug and chalk. Second, prepare Personal Protective Equipment or PPE Take note class, the greatest danger comes from vinyl chloride, a 
primary component of polyvinyl chloride, PVC, and odorless gas which could be released using this process. Vinyl chloride is a toxic carcinogen which has been proven to cause angiosarcoma, a deadly primary liver cancer. Use a good respirator and adequate ventilation to protect yourself from this toxin. We have here a respirator and gloves to protect yourself. Third procedure. Draw a right angle on the floor using your tri-square and chalk. This will serve as your guide when forming your conduit into 90 degree angle. Fourth procedure. If you are in a room with a tiled floor, you can use it as your guide for 90 degree angle like this one. Fifth procedure. Draw an arc near the corner with a radius of 100 mm. This will aid you in forming, in forming your elbow correctly. Take note, a 20 mm diameter of PVC should have a radius of 100 mm as mentioned in the previous information sheet. Mark off 200 mm from the end of PVC pipe. This will be the center of your elbow bend. Mauna kibali sintro sa imuhang pagbaw o pagbend. The sixth procedure. Plug in the heat gun and apply heat to the conduit. Apply heat 100 mm on both sides of your marking. Apply heat evenly by turning over the conduit while swinging your heat gun back and forth to avoid kinks during bending. Tarungon o bawog, hinahinayon, hinahinayon lang o ibalansi sa tibuok area na gibend para malikayan ang maot ng sulta o pagulot-gulot sa atong tubo. 7. Procedure Notice that when the conduit is softening, it will sag, it will make the pipe easy to bend. So, kung init na ang area, muhumok siya o mabitay. Sama sa picture. Easy na lang dayon ang pagbend, sayo na lang dayon. 8. Procedure If the conduit is softened, turn off the heat gun and bend the PVC to the desired shape using your arc and 90 degree angle guide drawn on the floor. Kung humok na, iplastar na dayon sa gihimo ni mong guide. 9. Procedure If the desired shape is formed, dump the conduit with wet rag to harden it immediately. You can use your foot to hold one end of the conduit while wiping. So, kung naporma na nimo ang conduit sa imong gusto nga porma, basa na dayon o tubig. Gamit ang basa nga trapo para mugahi dayon. After you are done bending, bisan pa o asa ka nga lugar, you should perform housekeeping. Nga naman, para arrange hinlo ang palibot o siyempre sa safety pod na to, nga na trabaho. Do you understand class? Have you learned something in our discussion today? Can you do it yourself? You should. Do it yourself or DIY skills are needed in the 21st century. You should acquire them. To check if you have understood our lesson, let us have the self check. Get your answer sheet now. For test A, directions, read the statement carefully, write the correct answer on the blank provided. Test B, directions, answer the following questions. You can have it in three to four sentences. Be sure to answer seriously, guys. Thank you for watching. Till our next video lesson. 
bye bye